Hey everybody, welcome to Brickball, my name is Jack. Today is a LEGO City Set review. We have Airport Passenger Terminal. The set is recommended for ages 6 to 12. It is set number 60104 and it has 694 pieces. Included are five minifigs, a small couple of vehicle builds, one okay sized build for the airport terminal itself, and a great looking plane. Okay, let's check out the inside of the box. All right, so the box contains eight bags. There are two other ones that are unmarked, so really there's 10 bags. We have this gigantic wing piece here, which is really cool, and it's actually kind of bendy, which is nice. A few other uh, gray plate pieces here, and a series of manuals, as well as a bunch of stickers. Let's get started. Alright, so the airport passenger terminal set is done, and I know I don't think the uh, price to part ratio is particularly great, but all in all, this is definitely a very complete set, and you can see that uh, the plane itself is made of a lot of really big parts. A lot of them are sort of just exclusive to this set, and I think that is by far the number one contributing factor to the overall price. This is a massive passenger plane. Great color combination, I'll say right off the back. I like the blue 
blue and those uh, little orange highlights. The logo on the uh, back tail looks good. It's very simple. And the sticker detailing is uh, relatively minimal. Some of them are kind of big, but nothing really stands out too much. First things first, you can take the cockpit off. We've got two seats for pilots, a little coffee mug right on the dash there. That is a sticker detailing for the uh, main throttle in the middle. And as you might be able to guess, not just the cockpit comes off, but really just the entire top blue paneling as well. But before I talk about the passenger seats, this is probably one of the cooler spots. This is the door that folds completely open. It's pretty much the same opening function as a real uh, airplane door on a passenger jet. And here's what it looks like when it matches up with the exterior on the outside with the blue paneling and everything, and it fits in just right. Also, if you open the door back up, this is where you would attach the stairs for uh, getting the passengers on and off the plane. But we'll get back to that piece in a little bit. Back to the interior, and this is just behind that opening door. We've got a sink and a little, I think that's a mini fridge. Moving down the aisle, here are the passenger seats, of which there are only five, but it does look um, relatively proportional on the interior, which I prefer instead of just cramming the inside full of a bunch of seats. The back has a bathroom, which is just closed by a sort of half door, which I think is kind of funny. You can see the sink for hot and cold. And the exterior has some places for luggage, but uh, it feels a little bit minimal compared to what a regular passenger jet might be. There's just a couple of little doors that open on the sides that can fit a suitcase or two. While the top is off here are what the uh, plates look like when they're separated out. They're pretty nice big pieces. Uh, I think they could be used for a lot of different things, but the coolest part is this cockpit windshield piece here. And all I really wanted to show off was the inside. The uh, windshield piece on the interior is actually held in by screws, something you pretty much never see. Let's see what else is there. The tips of the wings are poseable, so they can be kind of turning up or down. And anyways, there is the uh, big passenger plane. Let's check out the actual terminal. There's a ton of stuff going on here as well. Here we are looking at the bottom half, and what I like about it is that it is just so open. The back is completely exposed for the uh, play features, and in the front it's made pretty much totally full of glass, which is very accurate to a airport, and I like that they made it two stories tall, or two uh, levels tall, I suppose, for these, these larger Lego pieces. First, our mini figure can go through security then she can check in at the front desk and right behind there is our luggage rack this is for getting the luggage into the little mover cart the function works decently well as you can see but let's check out the top of this terminal we have the simplest of sticker detailings you can see and there at the top is the air traffic control tower the radar is posable as well as that little yellow swivel chair on the inside not much more space for the inside there. It looks relatively simple. And now we're checking out our vehicle of the set. Honestly, I think this is one of the nicest parts. We've got the driving area in the front that says follow me on the back. Then there is the lug luggage rack, sorry, followed by the Octan refueling supply and the stairs that you can attach towards the plane like I pointed out before. What's great is they can all be detached and reattached. You can put them in any order that you like, I suppose. But it's just nice. We get kind of just a little bit of everything in terms of a standard moving vehicle that you would need in an airport. Here's what it might look like if you were uh, preparing for takeoff, and here is what the set would look like inside the LEGO City. It's kind of funny sort of being beset uh, next to the Micropolis version of the airport, but I certainly think this is a nice little starting point for building up what I hope is a much larger airport for our LEGO City in the future. And before I get into my final thoughts about the set, let's just take a look at the five minifigs very quickly. We've got an order from left to right, the captain, a flight attendant. I believe those are two passengers, the man and woman in the center, and then two ground crew all the way on the right. And here they are just in a little bit of closer detail. I think the captain has his best printing right on the front of that torso. It does go a little bit on the back and he's got a relatively standard aviator sunglasses face. Next up is the attendant. He has uh, pretty standard printing all around. I do like that the uh, dark tan hair and printing for the facial hair is there. That's not quite as common and we're moving on to the civilians or passengers. Here is the hooded sweatshirt guy, red t-shirt. He comes with a briefcase and dark tan legs. 
and our female passenger has white pants and that sort of all too common print that we see now with the green torso and the necklace in the front. I do like that hair piece, not very common. And here is Ground Crew 1, differentiated with the orange hat and the sort of nicely shaved face. And our second ground crew was given a construction hat and has the more scruffy or maybe more lazy looking facial hair on his face. Kind of like my style. And I suppose my final thoughts are about the set is that yes, it is a very expensive set for its parts. Um, the reason being, of course, uh, all those gigantic and very exclusive pieces used to make up this huge passenger jet. I do think the jet itself is a great build. And in terms of the number of minifigs that you get and the play functions that you have, I think I think it does feel very, very complete. Okay, so that is it for this set. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. If you want to buy it, I have left a link in the video description below. And if you enjoy our content, you can always like or subscribe. All right, that is it again. So thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.